Betty McDonald would have won a story slam, but everybody was laughing so long and so hard that she ran out of time. I'm telling you the truth. It was, it was the funniest story ever. And it had a parking lot. Fuck you, right? <laughs> okay. That's uh, Betty McDonald. So you can laugh. So I'm chilling on my deck. I'm enjoying a pleasant breeze when the wind blows the AARP magazine clear out of my hands. When I pick it up, the pages have fallen open to a photo essay celebrating a bevy of handsome, wrinkle-free seniors from 50 to 90. <laughs> the message? You too can look hot in your golden years. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They've all had a, had a shitload of work done. <laughs> what about the rest of us? We're doing our best to avoid plastic surgery and the anti-aging products that keep popping up on online ads. <laughs> yeah. What did Ellen DeGeneres do to look better, younger, and prettier than she, at 56 than she did at 25? <laughs> Was it painful? Were little knives involved? Are there scars? <laughs> Personally, I don't mind wrinkles. It's the drooping chin line that I loathe and the deep furrows that run from my nose down past my mouth that make me look sad and angry if I forget to smile. <laughs> In a talk right here at the Kleinex, the celebrated novelist Gail Godwin once referred to those furrows on her own face as the Charlie McCarthy look. <laughs> so I'm over it. I think I'm looking good until there's a reality check with a mirror or a photo. <laughs> At a book signing not long ago when the ubiquitous cameras came out, Kim, my publisher, throws her arm around me and smiles for the shot. I mutter, I hate having my picture taken. <laughs> Why, she questions. <laughs> Until I see a photo of myself, I think I'm gorgeous. <laughs> you are, you are gorgeous. You have no idea how gorgeous I think I am. 